So essentially, Mark Zuckerberg Oops. seemingly sort of resetting, if you will, the minds of, of his shareholders with that statement, essentially saying, you know, we grow so fast, now we've got to recalibrate the situation. In your mind, does this set Meta up for a banner year? Oh, well, they've already had a banner year. Think about in November, they went to $88 a share. They've more than doubled in that time. Uh, Meta, he went from not listening to his critics in 2022, spending $5 billion on the metaverse that's not going to be around for five to 10 years, uh, to saying, hey, this is the year of this is the year of efficiency. This is the year that, that we're in control costs. Remember, they were the first one in Silicon Valley to cut uh, jobs, to, ha to have layoffs. So the, they're out in front of the curve as far as many of their peers are concerned. It's fascinating, isn't it? Just to think about uh, where we are right now with tech earnings, with tech stocks. In your mind, are we going to, to see this just really the start of more positive uh, note going forward? I, I think so. Um, I really believe investors see the NAS stocks as, as value right now. Uh, think about 2002. You had falling sales, rising interest rates, rising expenses. And now in 2023, you have falling sales, but you have plateauing interest rates and you have falling expenses. So that's really a net net positive. And I think that's why the NASDAQ after falling 33% in 2022 is already up 14% in the first 32 days of 2023. And, and I think that's why the NASDAQ was up another 2% today, more than the S&P's 1%, more than the, the, the Dow's 0.1%. And I think in futures, that's why you're seeing the NASDAQ up 1% more than the Dow and S&P. I think investors really see value and see a lot of good quality fines in the NASDAQ and for this year.